encountering God transforms us. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 But we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the Spirit of the Lord. This scripture is talking about being transformed into the image of God as we see God, as we know Him, as we understand Him. And we know that we can get into the depths of God's Word, we can experience the presence and the glory of God and as we uh, touch more of God, as we behold more of Him, we are being changed, we are being transformed and this is a, a privilege for every human being and particularly those of us who live on the uh, other side of the cross because we have the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit with us and the Holy Spirit works in us, helps us experience Jesus more and more and as we uh, work alongside the Holy Spirit, we are being transformed. These encounters for believers with the Holy Spirit living inside of them can take place moment by moment. You know, we do not have to wait uh, for a special encounter, a special meeting with God, a sudden meeting with God, which is what encounters are. Uh, but we see this in history. We see this in the lives of uh, several men and women of God. You know, they encountered God in dramatic ways and each one of those meetings transformed their lives. It caused them to make decisions which they otherwise would not have made. It caused them to worship God like they would never have worshipped God. So if one meeting with God on separate occasions could cause people to change uh, the course of their life. Just imagine what can happen if you and I are consistently encountering the presence of God and consistently encountering the nature of God through His Word. Now, we become like the person we behold. Let's keep beholding the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and as 2 Corinthians 3.18 says that we uh, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Let's be transformed through the work of His Spirit. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can be changed, O oh God. And Father God, it is you, your work in our hearts, in our lives that alone can produce lasting and real change. You are the God who can cause change to happen inside out. And God, today I speak freedom over those who are caught up, O oh God, in, in some form of oppression and, Lord, unable to be set free. Father God, I speak your deliverance upon them in the name of Jesus. Let them experience this transformation firsthand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.